Oh, loot crate, loot crate, loot crate. What can I say about loot crate that I haven't said before? Unfortunately, we are at the point where it seems like delays happen every single month. And I don't want to start on a, bit, on a sour note like that, because I know you if you've watched these videos, you know I've said some things recently about frustrations with Loot Crate. The specific frustration I'm talking about this time, though, is Loot Crate Deluxe. I don't order it very often, because it's 50 bucks. I only ordered it if I really care about the franchise involved. Only done it like three or four times. But I ordered the July Loot Crate Deluxe because it had Power Rangers item in it. And yes, you look at your calendar, it is already September. So the loot crate in question is at least five weeks late. And they even said that they've sent them all out now within the last week. And I've emailed them saying that does not include me. You have not given me a tracking number. So I don't know, six, seven weeks, will I even ever get it? Disappointing to say the least. Loot crate is a concept that I've always been behind although I have voiced frustrations in the last few months, so to speak, and we are getting to the point where it feels like they've bit off more than they can chew. But, you know, we'll figure that out. We'll get to it eventually, that issue. We can table that for now, because I would just want to get to this one's regular loot crate, which, admittedly so, out of all the boxes they produce, is the one that is the most timely, that usually comes on schedule. So, we'll check this out. This is our August box. It is a few days late, not too many, and admittedly, I got this a couple days ago, so I haven't opened it on time. But still, we're just gonna open up our box for August, and we're gonna get into a good mood and see what we got. If we don't get into a good mood, well, we'll talk about that too. But let's try to remain positive, guys. La da 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 da. What do we have here? Ooh, that is a trippy pattern on the box that really messes with your eyes. Ooh. Okay, first item is a Rick and Morty, Morty Monster Mayhem. Um, another thing that I have heard is that um, one of the, another uh, issue supposedly with Loot Crate is that they're getting a little lazy when it comes to exclusives. Like apparently at San Diego Comic Con, they actually had this, but with like I don't know, it was like a different colored or shiny or something different, and they released the Archer figure that I got months ago with a slightly different colored base. And I believe that the Power Rangers item in the Loot Crate Deluxe I have not gotten yet is these little minifigures. I don't know if you can see them from here, these little minifigures that you got one of at random in a regular Loot Crate. It's just a collection of all five of them, but they're metallic. So Loot Crate is doing a lot of recolor and repurposing of uh, materials for new boxes and for exclusives. And I mean, that is another concern, admittedly so. You, I mean, exclusives are great, but you would like all those exclusives to truly be exclusive, and sometimes they're not. Um, but anyway, this is Rick, Rick and Morty, Morty Monster Mayhem. Morty isn't exactly known for staying calm under pressure, but with a grandpa like Rick, who can blame him? Enjoy a regular day in the life of Morty with this figure inspired by promotional artwork from Rick and Morty's second season. And there's the artwork in question. So I'm just going to pop this open real quick. Oh jeez, Rick. Oh jeez. You're gonna put this on here, aren't you, Rick? So you put this on like so. Um, and then Rick, Rick, Morty has a couple little pegs in his feet. And boom. It's actually a very cool figure. Um, I'm a big Rick and Morty fan. I'm trying not to be an over-the-top Rick and Morty fan. You know those ones that all they do is talk about Szechuan sauce or... Pickle Rick all the time, and you're like, really? Okay, get over it. You're making it annoying for the rest of us, but, you know, it's still fun. Oh, and by the way, the theme for August uh, 2018 is Mayhem, and of course this is Morty Monster Mayhem, so it works, but it is a pretty uh, general theme. And then next would be a uh, notebook, I mean a journal, sorry. This is a 80-sheet uh, journal, uh, Loot Crate exclusive, and it's got Harley Quinn on it. Everybody likes themselves some Harley Quinn. Um, although if you think Harley and Joker is a good relationship that is idealized, you need help. I'm just throwing that out there. But yeah, Harley Quinn Notebook definitely fits the Mayhem theme. Very cool. I know a lot of Harley Quinn fans in my life, and I guarantee any one of them would like this as a gift. 
you know, not personally for me, I do like journals. Uh, Harley's not necessarily my bag, but definitely an awesome gift that someone will get from Jeremy. And next is our t-shirt for the month. And it's a nice blue. I like that already. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, this is an office space t-shirt. Okay. And it is a skull and crossbones, but it's designed like the infamous uh, destruction of the copier beatdown scene. I really like it. It's a very nice blue. Um, and the, oh, it's got the red stapler. Um, but the design is, is pretty uh, clever, yet simple, and the colors work really well together. This is definitely a shirt that is going to get some use from me, specifically. Yes, big fan. Love Office Space. Do people nowadays even remember Office Space? Do the younger kids even remember? Because it probably came out like, what, the late 90s? But I had John C. McGinley, and everybody likes John C. McGinley. Uh, next up is a sock, a pop socket. Okay, you know what? I've seen these, but I've never actually bought one myself. Um, I think they came out kind of about a year ago, but these pop sockets, they, uh, they basically, you just put them on the back of your phone and they sort of come out and so they make it so you can like hold the back of the phone and it makes it easier to take a nice selfie. Um, but I have, I've been wanting to buy one, but I haven't really found one that necessarily fit my style. Um, so yeah, I'll probably at least ch check this one out, even though it's Wonder Woman. Hey, you know what? Nothing wrong with Wonder Woman. Best movie DC has put out was Wonder Woman. You know, you can be a guy and you can love yourself some strong, awesome females, which I definitely do. Um, and yeah, it's Justice League one. Uh, I'll take a look at this and... Oh, hold on. Okay, okay so I'll say this quickly. Um, I'm looking at the paper that comes with it, and it says that uh, you're going to get one of three pop sockets. And based on the choices, I'm happy with Wonder Woman because everybody who knows me knows I don't care for Batman and I don't care for Superman. Wonder Woman out of those three is easily the best choice. And I'm sorry to all you Batman fans out there, but Batman is a crybaby loser. I got so much money. <laughs> and he's weird. He makes kids dress up in little green shorts and domino mask like that dude. Something is up with him, okay? He's the bad guy. I know. Don't at me, bro. Um, anyway, so this month's pin is from Courage the Cowardly Dog. That's definitely very much mayhem. And so it's a cool little purple pin. Little collectible pin. You keep all these to show that you've got every loot crate from every month. Again, more trippy box. Woo. And finally, we got a little paper here uh, talking about mayhem. Uh, the Mega Crate this month was, ooh, for a bunch of Nerf guns. Not necessarily my bag, but someone got a bunch of Nerf guns, so that's cool. And Mayhem, it says, life gets messy sometimes, especially if you're making a mess. Some of our favorite characters and iconic moments have something in common. Total Mayhem. Wreak havoc responsibly with this collection of exclusive gear. And again, Total Mayhem Morty figure, exclusive. Exclusive Office Space t-shirt. Exclusive Harley Quinn notebook. Justice League Pop Sockets, not exclusive, because I mean, you can buy all three of these in the stores, but still, I don't have one, so that's cool. Um, and Courage the Cowardly Dog Pin. And as far as value goes, you know, I say this every time, but really, a t-shirt like this is 20 bucks. Um, I believe, I don't know how much Pop Sockets are. I think they're like five bucks, maybe? You know, don't quote me on that. Um, and you know, a cool figure like this is a good 10 to 15 bucks. And a notebook like this is probably five bucks. So, I mean, overall, you're, you're getting at least double what you paid for because like I've always said in the past, you know, monthly subscription service, 20 bucks a month. This is at least 40, 45 bucks, probably more. Um, oh, and the one thing I, I forgot to say at the beginning of the video is if you haven't subscribed to Loot Crate and you would like to, um, I have a little code below. It's just a personal code, not sponsored by them, but you use that, you help me out and I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I think this was a pretty solid uh, month. After last month with the double t-shirts, which was a little weird, I wasn't sure. But again, this is a great shirt that I will wear. I've wanted to at least try out a pop socket. Now I've got one for basically free, so I can try that out. And I love the great Rick and Morty figure. Not sure where I'm going to pose it yet or if I'm just going to put it back in the box because I have too many figures out, honestly, at times. Um, and this is a great gift for somebody. So, like, everything here is something that either I will use or I definitely know somebody I can give it to as a gift. So that's a really, really solid box. Nothing here seems like too forced or uh, cutting corners, so to speak, in that sense. 
So, you know, good good recovery this month, Loot Crate. I really appreciate it. You did a really good job. Good stuff. Still want my Loot Crate Deluxe, please. That would be nice. Gonna send you another email, probably right after I finish this video. But um, that's all I have for you for now, guys. As far as upcoming videos, I uh, really hope you enjoyed my video about uh, my Power Rangers movie merchandise. There is some Lupin Ranger, Pat Ranger stuff coming up. I know there's a Jackpot Striker. I didn't order it normally when because uh, I was kind of gone in a convention, but I got that. And I know there's another uh, vehicle, uh, VS vehicle, coming up that I have to review, along with other stuff coming up from the last couple quarters of toys. Although none of that's been ordered or delivered yet, but it'll be a little bit of time. And then I also still, I know I promised it before, I do have another video that I'm going to do talking about Power Morphicon, the State of the Power Rangers franchise as a whole, and kind of discussing the 25th anniversary. Um, I don't, I think I'll probably do that in the next few days. Don't know when I'll, I'll get it up. But I really have a lot of thoughts that I'd like to just, you know, be by myself and give you that those those thoughts. I've talked about all this sort of stuff in passing um, on the No Pink Spandex podcast, but it also is another thing to just really give your own 100% thoughts without um, inputs from others. And I think that'd be a bit of a unique take and I really hope you enjoy that video. But until that video comes out, until the next unboxing, until the next, all of the silliness that I have coming out, I just really appreciate all the support. Um, I still make these Loot Crate videos even though I know they're probably the least popular ones I make, but I love them. Um, but, you know, it's just a lot of fun for me personally. Um, so until then, and I keep saying, um, stop saying, um, you know, if I was a good editor, I'd actually edit this video around all these ums and pauses, but I don't. I just do my thing. Anyway, I am Jeremy, aka Captain Subpar, saying to you, forever and always, when you do the liking and the subscribing and the sharing and all that, but still remember that I am going to be King of the Geeks. Got it all in. Oh, he just moved the table. Oh, oh, he gets up. Oh, we're gonna go to the trippy box. More trippy box. More trippy box. More a trippy box.